What is up guys, Tyler Casey here. I'm on my way down to LA and I'm going to check out the new Cinepack studio. Hope you guys had somewhat of a decent 2020. It was definitely a crazy year for everyone. Uh, it was a really crazy year for us at Cinepacks. We definitely actually grew a lot and were able to release a lot of packs with all the time at home. I'm kind of going to give a recap of what we did during 2020. If you want to skip ahead and see the studio, I'm going to leave chapter markers down below so you guys could check that out. But I want to give a little recap on what I did in 2020. In March, when everything hit, my partner Andy and I, we were pretty much home every day working on the Cinepacks website. You guys didn't see, we dropped tons of packs. We were home working on new packs, updating the website. We even dropped a bunch of free packs. One of my favorite was the paper rip transitions. Completely free, you guys can still download all our free packs right there below. We worked on a lot of physical products as well. We started these filters super early on in the year, uh, around July. There was definitely some drama around the filters. If you guys know, you know. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you probably saw it, but if not, um, I guess you're just gonna have to do some research and see. We launched the split filters around September, August. We started developing those all the way back in July. Uh, we also just dropped the crystal filters in November, and we developed those all the way back in July as well. Since the beginning, we've wanted to create our own studio. We have tons of ideas for studio ideas, um, and we wanted to get it started. So Andy finally, he lives down in LA. I'm up in the Bay Area. So Andy found a great spot to run a studio. So he was gonna open it in October. In October, I was actually, we were actually having our first kid. I had to stay up for that, of course. Make sure to like the video for baby Grayson. So while Andy was getting the studio all set up, I was actually shipping out all the split filters and getting ready to ship the crystal filters for you guys. So Andy's been running the studio down in LA. I've been shipping out filters. 2021, we're trying to get the studio up and running even more. We've added all sorts of crazy upgrades. I'm excited to go see it. We got this new LED wall that I'm super stoked to see. Uh, looks super crazy and we got some new filter prototypes that we're gonna work on as well We're gonna shoot some promos. We're launching the clear streak filter as well So I'm gonna continue down the road. We're gonna see Andy at the new studio. So let's check it out Cinepack studio Where are we at? Let's do it Sick What's up dude? Walk me through the set, Sandy. I got what we got right here? We got the dressing room. All right. Here, you know, a little blackout curtain action. We got a little mirror in here. We got a makeup station. Pretty right sick. There, you know, the essentials. Let's check this one out. This one. Is one of the oh shit! The TV's sick. Uh, Does the TV work? Yes, sir. Woo! Very spooky. All real antiques. All real. Uh, you shit. You shine a light through that window right there? Yeah, it's all from the hallway. Oh damn, I can see this and you can move this wall right. This shit moves. Damn, I didn't even see anyone use that. Nobody's used it. What the fuck? I would, th yeah, this is the only It's like the first thing I'd use. I know, exactly. <laughs> damn. So this is the... Oh, that's sick. That's the LED wall. So how big is it? 10 feet by 10 feet. Fuck. It's fucking huge. 100 square, uh, 100 How bright is it? Well, I have no idea, but it's bright as fuck. There's one that I want to tell the light off. Mac home screen. I already downloaded the fucking footage to play right now. Sick. We got the LED tunnel. And then what do you call this side right here? This one? Yeah, how do you get the backlight? Uh, you have to put your own light back there. Oh, you gotta put your own light. Maybe we'll buy, maybe we'll buy one for this. Cause, some people don't bring lights to the sheets, which is kinda crazy. Yeah. Dude, that's so sick. What do you call this set? Uh, I call it the, uh, Cyber Retro Neon set. They're all separate, so you can actually, Damn, um, that's sick. do like, you flash different colors. And then we got this new set over here. What do you call this set? That's the cyber hacker room. The cyber hacker room. So we got all these TVs that work. We actually, I forgot those cables in the car. We'll have to grab those. But 
pretty sick. You got this wall. This could be like a, could be a lot of things. I feel like it could almost be like a heist type scene. Goodwill hunting. That looks like straight out Goodwill hunting. We're going to be testing out the clear street filter. Uh, we're going to be doing some tests and shooting the promo for that. And then also testing some of the new filters that we have coming very soon. studio is include C stands and some gear that you can use with every rental including uh, what do we include we include a speaker as well we're not gonna charge you extra for that so if you come and shoot with us you can use the C stands the sandbags the Apple boxes and the Bluetooth speaker you don't have to pay extra for that because um, that's super annoying when you go to other studios and they charge you uh, arm and a leg for all these extra things we're here uh, we just wanted to make it convenient for anyone to pull up, shoot, run and gun stuff, and we already have these pre-built sets for you. So that's the LED wall. Um, you can basically play any footage you want on it. So you can put like the lyrics for the music video. You could put, right now we're gonna do a scene with the motorcycle so the lights actually emit from the wall and then react to whatever subject you have in front of it. Compared to like a green screen where you would basically key it out, it's actually, projecting light onto your subject. If you use a projector, you'd basically just have a fat shadow in front of the wall. So I just got back from LA. I'm chopping up all this footage. Uh, the studio was great. It was really cool to finally see it in person. I'm back home up in the Bay Area. I'm shipping out the filters. Uh, had a bunch of filters when I got back to ship out. Uh, we're getting ready to ship those clear streak filters. So those are launching. Super cool filters. You can get clear anamorphic streaks on a budget. We're selling them really cheap compared to all the competitors. And they're also clear. So there's other filters out there that give you like colored streaks, but we wanted to create something that's clear so it reacts to the color of light. So if you have a blue light in your scene, the streak is gonna be blue. If you have a daylight or a tungsten light, it's gonna be daylight or a tungsten streak. Really nice to have, and it gives you that anamorphic look on a budget. If you guys do wanna check out and book the studio, I have the peer space down below. It'd be awesome to have you guys come shoot in our studio and check it out. It's a lot of fun. There's really cool stuff playing all the new filters, the studio, and we have some other top secret physical products on the way as well. Uh, stuff I didn't post in this video. So I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepax. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.